okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat this intro or anything like that, like today on Leo's High View or anything like that. I'm just going to come out and say it. On this episode of Leo's High View, I'm going to be talking about G4 and what it meant to me back then, from when it started out as Tech TV to G4 Tech TV and everything else. And uh, the fact that it's going to be leaving and it's going to be changed and everything like that, I'll be also giving out my personal opinions and everything. So basically, that's enough talk for now. Just roll the intro already, damn it. Roll the intro. Roll it. I'm going to be talking about a channel that has been near and dear to me throughout all these years until it started going straight down the crapper. That channel is G4, or as it was most commonly known back then as Tech TV, then switching to G4 Tech TV, and then finally the abomination known as G4. So let's get started, shall we? Tech TV and everything. It was all about technology, anime, and of course, uh, X-Play, and a few other shows that involved video games and all sorts of other stuff like the screensavers and Arena, and of course, X-Play, classic X-Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Then along came G4 Tech TV, which focused more about video games and all sorts of other stuff, bringing in shows like Arena, Attack of the Show, and uh, uh, what else? I forgot most of the other shows. Damn it, I gotta look up most of this stuff online whenever I get a chance. But uh, basically, it all started out with Tech TV, then it all started out with G4. Some of my favorite shows on that one channel. My cousin first introduced me to Tech TV and, of course, X-Play, and I fell in love with the channel since then and, every, and yada yada this and yada yada that. But the main thing I wanted to watch, of course, was X-Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb, the classic X-Play, which was awesome. It was funny, and it gave good, solid reviews and everything like that good personal opinions from people who actually played the video games and were not paid actors giving their opinions about it and everything and yada yada this. <sighs> it is hot right now. I'm sorry. It is hot right now in this house because we do not have any AC. So I'm going to be sweating a little bit. Anyway, then along came G4 Tech TV, which uh, gave us uh, some more video game stuff of like more episodes of X-Play, Attack of the Show, where you're not also talking about video games, but all sorts of tech news and stuff like that. Attack of the Show should have been added in Tech TV, in my honest opinion. Uh, Cinema Tech, which showed off various videos and stuff from games with awesome music and stuff in it. And uh, Arena, which showed off uh, gaming competitions between different teams where they played games like Smash Brothers or first-person shooters and stuff like that. And it was fun and everything. Then later on afterward, they changed their programming. I'm like, what? What are you going to add for your programming now? Then after that, they started showing shows like Unbeatable Banzuki. I'm like, okay, it's not video game related, but it's cool and everything. I like it. And it's from Japan. Then after that came Ninja Warrior. I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool, I guess. It's obstacle course running where people from Japan run this awesome obstacle course to become number one who's Ninja Warrior and everything like that. And it was okay and everything. x did all sorts of coverage of E3, Tokyo Game Show, and all these other things with the character, with the cast from... Uh, <clears throat> with the cast and the crew from uh, Attack of the Show. I also had another show called G4, or Tech, or something like that, where these three people uh, talked and everything like that, had with various people on, uh, on the phone and everything like that, which was interesting. I can't remember too much about it, because I didn't pay too much attention. Then along came the abomination we know as G4, and then they changed their lineups again. And I'm like, okay, so what are you guys going to add, add on to the channel? I'm like, Cops? Cheaters? Movies that don't suck? And uh, shows like Bomb Patrol Afghanistan? What the f*** is this? This is supposed to be TV for gamers, not all this other crap. No one gives a crap about cops or cheaters or Campus PD or anything like that. This is when, of course, the channel started going downhill. G4 completely selling out. And after that, I completely hated it. And also to uh, give you a big kick to the balls, not too long afterwards, sometime back in, I believe, May, Adam Sessler left X-Play because I believe they wouldn't renew his contract. And then not too long afterwards, during August, Kevin Pereira left Attack of the Show. And I'm like, 
What the hell is going on? What is this? What is going on here? What is this sh**? What the hell is this? Why they do this? Why they do this? Why they do this? Ugh. In recent news, if you guys didn't know, because I don't really read that much internet news most of the time, but uh, it seems that after 10 years, though, G4 is soon going to be going away. NBC, uh, uni let me read this right here. NBC Universal, which owns G4, has decided to rebrand the channel, older and more hip, in the vein of the magazine GQ. The change is likely to begin in 2013. So basically, G4 is going the way of MTV in a way. Remember how good MTV used to be back then? Well, now look at it now. Crap. Pure, unethical crap. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but you know what I mean. It's crap. It's crap! Currently, G4 TV's programming competes with the likes of Spike, History Channel, Sci-Fi, Discovery, and A&E. The GQ rebranding, which is to be clear, is just as an easy way to describe it and not an official magazine-related qualifier, would help radically differentiate the network from those channels, and one would imagine image attract advertisers who sell products that are a little more upscale and could afford more expensive ads. So what the heck does this mean for some of the other... Uh, uh, shows for the two remaining game shows that actually talk about games and other stuff. What does this mean for GeForce coverage of events like Comic Con or E3 and Attack of the Show? What does that mean for them? It doesn't look good in my honest opinion, and I'm sure it doesn't look good for anyone else. If the future of G4 doesn't focus on such events that open the door for someone like games and stuff like that, whether that be an internet channel like Nerders or something else, what are they going to do now? What are they going to do now? Because I'm really not sure exactly. Because, you know how it was back then. At first, it was tech TV with all sorts of technology and stuff like that. And all sorts of other programs and stuff like the screensavers and, of course, original X-Play. And the one show called Unscrewed. And then, of course, there was Anime Unleashed, which was awesome. And, of course, they brought along Attack of the Show not too long afterward, which was very cool. Because they talked about all sorts of things. They talked about video games and uh, movies and stuff like that. Technology, like which laptop to buy or what kind of new cameras coming out and everything like that. And uh, all sorts of stuff. Even triple X and porn stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and of course, X play. You know how they are. They review games and stuff like that. They do previews. They leveled up up a couple of times, giving us exclusive interviews. Where Adam, of course, went into different areas to take a look at uh, uh, how uh, first-person shooters are imagined or something like that. And then, of course, came the latest episodes of X play which included Blair Herder. I got no disrespect for Blair Herder in every way, but I just don't like him. I He just doesn't have a personality, as far as I'm concerned. I've been with G4, well, Tech TV G4, or G4, or Tech, Tech TV, for, or since I first heard about it way, way, way back then in the early 2000s. And up till now, I can tell you, looking at the channel now, it sucks big dinosaur balls. And if I have to censor myself on some parts, you guys will notice. So basically, let me get back to reading this. Though I was certain, though one person said, though I was certainly, though I was certainly in the target audience for G4. I never considered it a go-to stop for pop culture news. Still, I can't help but feel a little sad today that a channel that came close to sharing my passions is finally going away. Are you upset with G4? Or going away, were you a fan of the shows that you considered much watch for pop culture news? I did back then when it was Tech TV, and of course it was G4 Tech TV, but not this G4. This G4 sucks. I mean, who gives a, it was a, well, who gives a shit about cops and campus PD and uh, cheaters and, uh, well, these movies that they show because they're edited. If I want to watch a movie, I will watch it on an actual movie channel instead of a network channel like G4 or MTV or Sci-Fi for that matter because I hate stuff that they edit out like the cussing and all that other stuff. I hate that sh And this is me expressing my opinion here. If I cuss, I apologize to anyone who's younger, th younger who might be watching this, but I'm actually uh, expressing myself about this. Kevin Pereira left the show in and left uh, Attack of the Show in G4 or in May of this year. And X-Play, a co-host, Adam Sessler, jumped the sh uh, ship in April. Did the network's decreasing focus on gaming 
in video games and geek coverage play a role? Or did Pereira just see the writing on the wall about this sort of rebranding and decide to go elsewhere? <sighs> My opinion might be maybe yes, maybe. I don't know. And I think I missed the last episode when Adam was on X-Play. I missed that episode, and I don't know if he said goodbye or anything like that. But since then, with, Adam's, with Adam gone... There's no real reason to even consider watching G4. Even X-Play is completely dwindled down. I don't mind some of the new stuff with Morgan and Blair, but I see no reason to really watch the channel for that matter. In my opinion, it's just... dull. Especially with Attack of the Show with all these different hosts they have with Candace and everything. Michael Ian Black, or this one guy, and uh, yada yada this. It's just... Ugh. I can't even sum up the right words to comprehend uh, what I'm thinking right now. <sighs> what what happened to all these great shows back then that we used to have on Tech TV or G4 Tech TV for that matter? What happened to good shows like Anime Unleashed or Call for Help or for that matter Fresh Gear or... The Nerd Nation, for that matter, Robot Wars, The Screensavers, Tech TV Live, or Thunderbirds, for that matter. They show Thunderbirds, Wired for Sex, or Working for the Web. What happened to all those good shows and everything back then? I mean, come on. It's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Tech TV was probably one of those one channels I could watch and everything like that that kept me interested for such a long time. At its height of the six-year run, it broadcast in over 70 countries and reached 43 million households and claimed 1.9 million unique visitors monthly to its website and everything like that. It was the one channel to watch. Then after that, it became G4 Tech TV. And some of the good shows I know it had on it were, of course, X-Play and... And, of course, Cheat, which gave off cool tips and tricks and cheats and stuff like that. The Electric Playground, for that matter. Of course, it still had fresh gear. G4TV.com, where they did this one talk show and stuff like that. Icons, which was considered one of the best uh, shows on G4 Tech TV, where they showed all these different all the different game creators and stuff like that, how they rose to fame and stuff, like how Shigeru Miyamoto became so world famous for making Mario or Sega for their mascots for, of course, Sonic and stuff like that, or SNK, the rise and fall of SNK for that matter. It was awesome. Judgment Day with Tommy and Vic, which was very fun. Me and my cousin, as in Sarot Sin, loved that show whenever he came over during weekends most of the time, and he loved watching it. We always wanted to make our own parody of it. Robot Wars, which was very awesome and everything like that, which should have also been part of Tech TV's originals and everything like that. I love Robot Wars. <sighs> of course, Unscrew with Martin Sar Hargent. And of course, X-Play, Classic X-Play, when they leveled up a few times. Invent This, Fresh Gear, Cinematech, which I loved to death. And of course, Arena. Then after that came G4. And then after that, they became, and after that, no good. Uh, some of the best shows and stuff like that went bye-bye. Adios, see you later. And with some of the changes they made for some of the later shows, it makes me go, like Angry Video Game Nerd said it best, what were they thinking? But seriously, though, as far as I'm concerned about uh, G4 leaving and stuff like that, all I can really say is, is, <sighs> don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. And shame on me once, shame on you twice. Or is it vice versa? Eh, I don't really know, I don't care. But anyway, I think, I think Spoonie said it best with his Ultima Gaming, whatchamacallit. <laughs> Serious. G4, when it, and it, when it became G4, pretty much threw all gaming knowledge and stuff like that straight out of the window. And it only focused on obvious shows like, oh, on Valentine's Day, let's do a marathon of cheaters. Or, no, let's do a back-to-back -back episode thing of cops for Sunday afternoon. Or, let's, sh let's, let's just take 
a Ninja Warrior off for that matter. And no, I have not seen any good episodes of Ninja Warrior for a good while, or for that matter, Women of Ninja Warrior. Heck, Unbeatable Bonsuke, which was made by the same people who did Ninja Warrior, was awesome. Why the hell did they take that away for that matter? Why? Quite frankly, I don't really care about G4 leaving the airways and everything like that. I don't even watch TV that much anymore, unless, of course, it's on Saturday night if they show any new movie premieres, or if Tom and Toonami are on and stuff like that. I don't even watch Saturday morning cartoons anymore because there's no reason to. Especially because we had a CW for a good while, but then afterwards, the channel changed into something else. And uh, afterwards, I'm like, what the hell happened to CW? What happened? Then after that, I changed into this one other channel, which acts a bit like The Hub in a way. I'd rather watch The Hub than watch anything else that they show. Because, believe it or not, I could actually tolerate My Little Pony. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but yes. I'm a freaking brony! I'll admit it. I'm a brony. But enough about that. As far as I'm concerned, G4 can rot for all I care. And, of course, since they're leaving, all I can say is bye-bye to it and everything like that. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to add in, uh, hang on a second, let me see if I can find it, uh... Okay, here we go. Uh, here's basically what my cousin Sarot Sin had to say about the whole entire thing. Good riddance to the assholes that revealed to me the existence of Drake and the 99 Dragons. <laughs> but seriously though, that episode of X-Play always made me laugh out loud no matter what. But before, but G4, before you got cops and contracted a form of AIDS, I would have took you out for dinner and fucked you like you've never been fucked before because you were awesome back then. But seriously, I hate to see it go. The one channel that for a while actually mentioned video games on TV it wasn't full of shit like game trailers is most of the time. Oddly enough, I feel the time has passed for video games being in the limelight. I think it's time to push these casuals off a cliff and return to basics, and gaming should be p become that past time that was uncool. And if my cousin Sir Sin says something like that now, then you know that he's that it's real. It's damn real. So what were your fondest memories of G4 or Tech TV or G4 Tech TV back then? If you guys want to make a video response, much like I'm doing for Alpha Omega Sin's video. And by the way, Alpha Omega Sin, I don't know if you watch your video responses or anything like that, but uh, you rock. You rock out loud. And I especially loved your game room. That freaking kicked ass. But anyway, uh, make a video response if you want to about this video. Uh, leave a comment in the comment box like, what were your favorite shows on G4 Tech TV, or uh, Tech TV for that matter? You know, give your honest opinion like I'm doing right now. <sighs> anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up this video f right now. This is Leo Hightower, and uh, that's it for another edition of uh, Leo's High View. I will see you guys next time. Adios. <sighs> I think I'm going to go play some GameCube or something. Screw this shit. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Not gonna end the video like this. Hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Before I forget exactly, I know a few more shows that were also on uh, G4 and G uh, Tech TV back then that I also enjoyed and everything like that. Before I forget, <clears throat> those shows were Filter, which had Diane Mizoda on it, where she counted down uh, a list of games and stuff like that, like who's your favorite character and all this and stuff like that, which was awesome, which I also loved. And, uh, and Blister, which focused on action-adventure game news. And uh, Game On, where two hosts competed in video game action action come to life. Life with dire consequences for the loser. Sweat, which focused on sports game news. And, of course, Portal, which focused on multiplayer games, for that matter. Why these shows had to die I, or go away, I don't know. Not to mention the layoffs that uh, G4 had to do back then, which was pretty sucky and everything like that. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you real quick. <clears throat> On February 17th, 19, uh, I mean February the 17th, 2009, it was reported that G4 intended to cut back its original content programming. X-Play would reduce to three nights a week, while Attack of the Show would be cut to four nights a week. Subsequently, a number of staff and production crew involved in the shows would be laid off. Neil Tiles announced that Layla Kaleg's contract would not be renewed, and in G April, she left G4. 
Olivia Munn left uh, G4, Attack of the Show, not too long afterwards, I think sometime last year, to pursue her own careers and everything like that. that no disrespect to Olivia Munn or anything like that, but I don't think she was a gamer. I'm sorry. <laughs> and not too long afterwards, sometime in 2010, DirecTV dropped uh, G4 from their lineup, much to my cousin's uh, as in, uh, Draylon unknowing and everything like that. <sighs> Quite frankly... I don't really give a damn about G4 anymore. I'm basically thrilled with it. There's nothing to watch on TV half the time anymore anyway. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say and everything like that. Tech TV and G4 Tech TV were my bros. They were awesome and everything like that. But then they up and backstabbed me with all this other crap that G4 showed. So basically right now what I'm going to do is I'm really going to end the video right here right now. So this is Leo Hightower and I'm going to go play me some GameCube or something. I'll see you guys next time in another exciting edition of Leo's High View, a.k.a. Food for Thought. Though I think I'm just going to call the sh uh, show Leo's High View from now on. And to Alpha Omega Sin, I think you said it best. Nerds, nerdettes, and video gamers. Game the fuck on. See ya.